Hi Aquarius, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for your December 2020 Is It in the Cards Love Tarot Reading. This is for all Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. And if you are new to the channel, I post new readings every Friday. Then typically, again, on either Monday or Tuesday. So if a reading doesn't resonate, you can check back in a couple of days and see what new readings are on the channel or just check a different part of your chart too. Uh, and if you haven't subscribed yet, I'd love to invite you to join us and subscribe. That will also help you to know when new readings are posted too. So let's get the advice here for Aquarius and love, please. What does Aquarius need to know about love, please? What messages do you have for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Okay, here we go. So we will do three cards for you, three cards for the person you are attracting, and then three cards for the advice, and then we'll do our Angel Answers Oracle card reading here. So you have the Six of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Two of Pentacles. The person you're attracting is represented by the Six of Cups, the Eight of Swords, and the Three of Cups. You've got the Tower, the Page of Pentacles, and the King of Swords here. So interesting reading. You know, um, there's there is love here, but I feel like there's a big wake-up call, and I feel like it has to do, if it's somebody from the past for you, boy, they didn't know what they had until it was gone. I can tell you that, and um, they are thinking about you. You are in their head. You're in their heart, too, but boy, are you in their head, and I feel like they are, they're going to come back around. I'll tell you that for sure. Um, you may have a new offer, too, here. I do see that. Um, but it's going to have to be in terms of a new, new person. I feel like it's important for you to use your discernment with this and not repeat a past pattern. If that's, um, you know, and with the King of Swords, it is a very discerning energy. So I like to see this here too, for you, because it's you and your element in the purest form of your own element. So you have here Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You do have Air, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. You have Fire, Aries, Leo, Sag, and you do have uh, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio here. So, boy, are you attracting attention. I mean, you've got prosperity, abundance, and success all around you. So, if you did go through a breakup, you're one of those people that, you know, you've lost the weight, you have everything about you, you know, and sometimes that, that's what happens. We slide down into a low, lower vibrational energy in a relationship that's not fulfilling, and we don't, when we're out of, when we're coming out of it, we're not at our best and we get out of it and our vibration rises and all of a sudden it's like, pow, here you are. So with the six of wands here, it's a card of victory, success of definitely gaining attention. And you've got it with the nine of pentacles here too, where people are noticing you and there's abundance all around you. You've got this very abundant energy where you are manifesting in the material world. You're manifesting a lot of things and it's, showing up left and right here. So with the Nine of Pentacles, it's a single lady card and it's a card of living a life of luxury, prosperity, abundance. You've got loyal people around you too. You've got good friends. I mean, there's really no rush, it feels like, on your side of things to get back together with anybody or even to jump into anything new. But I feel like you're going to have a lot of offers here. And with that Two of Pentacles, there's contemplation here. You know, there's a little bit of a committee meeting going on in your head. And it's like, do I need to do this? Do I want to do this? Do I feel like doing this? It also could be juggling more than one person here too. Um, if it's not, it doesn't feel like it's serious at, at this point in terms of like, if you're going out on dates with different people, but there, there will be an offer here. So for some of you, you may have already started dating and you've got somebody who comes back around and they're aware of it too, by the way. Um, so they might act like they don't know, but they know. So, uh, and that's part of the, you know what? That's part of the thing. You know, you stop giving them your life force and your energy and your attention and all of a sudden, here they are again. So with this person, 
they're definitely tied to the past with that Eight of Swords here. You know, the Eight of Swords is a self-imposed prison. So I do feel like they've made some mistakes. They're very aware of it um, for reconciliation people, for sure. Now, in terms of new love, that Eight of Swords can be somebody who is tied to a certain pattern. And I do like to see the tower here because the tower will devastate that pattern. It will be a real wake-up call and even a rude awakening for some. So with that eight of swords, I do see even for a new person, there is there is a, a love opportunity here with the tower. I actually like to see that here for them. But they've got this three of cups and the six of cups, and those are both about reconciliation. They're both about the past. They have connections to the past, so it could be somebody that you've known if it's not someone that you've dated, but they've got a real sense of, uh, they've got an eye for you. They've got this sense of appreciation for you and the way that those the, the women on the Three of Cups hold up those cups and they behold in the beauty of those cups. And it's like the way that they see you kind of drinking you in with their eyes now, the Six of Cups is a card of nostalgia, of sentimental longing, of fond memories. So I do feel like this person, if it's new love, they want the idea of a relationship. They've got in their mind certain things that really are important to them. I do feel like, too, you know, for this person, they're a good person. It's not like, you know, I don't feel like they're necessarily bringing like their ex on their back with them, but... I do feel like they have a little bit of work to do in this arena with this Eight of Swords energy around them, um, where it's just very restrictive. They don't have quite that freedom of the Three of Cups, but it's available to them. And I feel like they can get there pretty easily. So um, as far as looking at this person, you know, I do feel like they're creative. They've got... Um, seems like they've got a real green thumb. I don't know if they have a lot of plants around them or like a garden or something like that. It might just be house plants or plants in their office. Um, I do feel like their environment overall is very clean though. It's not like a terribly cluttered situation. So if they do like plants, it's like done in a kind of a minimalist way, but it's, uh, you know, there's something about them with that. You know, I just feel like they've got this energy of, um, you know, wanting some stillness in their life too, you know, wanting this balance and stability too. But with the tower showing up here, the tower gets rid of anything that's not built on a firm foundation. It's a candle, it's a castle that was built on sand. It was not sustainable. So for some, it's about limiting beliefs and relationships and it's time to be aware of those patterns so that you can move away from them. It also, too, is detaching from the ego. As you see that crown that gets hit by lightning, that's the ego attachment. So all those limiting beliefs, it's time to let go of them and move forward and be free of this. And it really is a wake-up call, but in a good way, because the tower comes in to bring in better things for you. There's no downside to the tower, even though it's quick and sudden and sometimes our ego doesn't like it. But overall, it brings you closer to source energy and it brings in really your heart's desire. If you're caught in something that's kind of feels like you're stuck in a rut, it's the perfect energy. So I like to see it with this page of pentacles because he's kind of naive. I mean, for a page, he's on the more mature side. But much like that three of cups, he really covets that pentacle, the way that he stares at it and holds it up. And it's like that for you. You have somebody here who really admires you, who, let, you know, they love to think about love with you. There's no doubt about that. Um, the King of Swords, though, I feel is important in this reading because the King of Swords brings in clarity and he also brings in a kind of cut to the chase conversation. So if it's somebody from the past and you're willing to consider them again, I feel like you'll be very clear about what you need in a relationship and what you want in a relationship. And that's how you'll get it is by being clear, not only just with the words, but it's also that full consciousness of the feelings, the vibration. And that's what brings it forward to you. So I do feel like you have an offer of love here, but it comes with this, you know, sort of upheaval of old dynamics, old 
relationship patterns that didn't work in the past and getting rid of all those to build something that's on solid ground and that will run the distance. Um, so, you know, I mentioned this person with the plants too. I do wonder if they could be an attorney. I get that for somebody or maybe that's you. I don't know, but I do get somebody's an attorney here. So let's get the, um, let's get the angels here for Aquarius, please. What does Aquarius need to know about love? Oh, there went the box. Hey. And a yes, no, maybe. All right, you have improving health. So for some of you, I mentioned, if you came out of a breakup, you were like dynamite, you know, things just if you were in that low vibrational place or if you're if you're there right now, if you're watching this because you're saying, you know, life is pressing in on me and I'm looking for some direction, you are on this ascending journey and this part of you, this mind, body, spirit connection here is is you're on the mend, you're improving and raising your vibration so they say helpful people will be important to you. So there may be somebody who gives you some advice, or it may just be with that nine of pentacles and the abundance that you have, the friends that you have, that's just part of how you're raising your vibration and feeling better. And that's when people start to show up. You're out there having fun. And the next thing you know, you've got this list waiting for you. So ask your angels. Whenever you watch tarot, ask your angels, what do I need to see? What do I need to know? And they'll communicate with you in the near future. And let's see. A, now they do tell you, choose a new direction. And what this means is that there may be some element of how you're looking at this that's actually slowing down the momentum a little bit. Um, but with the tower, though, man, that's pretty speedy momentum. I don't know. But they do say that it, it may not go exactly how you think it is. But you know what? The details are the universe's business anyway. Your job is just to be clear about what you want and allow the universe to do the heavy lifting for you. You just sit back and have fun in the meantime. So there's love here for you, Aquarius, and I love you too, and I'll be back again soon.